Several people have been asking, what is the best calculator you can use for calculus? So at first I was thinking, well, this is the one that I've always used. This is the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. And this is an older calculator. I've had this for maybe 15 years now, 14 years, 15, 14 years, and it still works. It uses batteries. You can tell it is a well-worn warrior so it has held up well. However, there is a newer version, which I think is superior. It's this one here, it's the TI-84 Plus CE. This one is superior because it's in color. Also, this one uses batteries, whereas this one is rechargeable. So I'm gonna turn this one on so you can see what it looks like. And let's graph something. So I'm gonna click Y equals, and there I have the sine function typed in already. And I'll hit graph, and there you can see the graph of sine. Let's graph something else so you can actually see it trace out. Let's do a cosine of x, and then I'll hit graph, and there you can see the graph of cosine. So it does graphing. It's a graphing calculator. Now, there are calculators that are more powerful than this one, uh, like the TI uh, Inspire. Those actually do calculus. They'll do integration. They'll do differentiation. So if you're wondering why I'm not recommending that one, it's because a lot of teachers don't allow that one. So most teachers will allow these calculators. And that's because these calculators don't have something called a computer algebra system. So a computer algebra system is basically something that will do the calculus for you. Uh, it'll integrate. Uh, it'll differentiate. It'll basically do algebra. These don't have that. So because they're missing that feature, a lot of teachers will allow these. So. I think these are probably the best choice uh, for anyone taking Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3, or differential equations because chances are you'll be able to use one of these in your class. And chances are you won't be able to use something like the TI Inspire in your class, which again is better than these, but when it comes time to like taking the test, if you can't use your calculator on the test, then that's no good. So I think it's better to have something you can actually use during a test to do computations, uh, to check your answers using graphs, etc., um, you can use uh, something like this. But yeah, pretty cool. I've had this one for about 14 years, uh, and it still works. It does use batteries, so the batteries run out. And then this one I've had for maybe one or two years, and it's rechargeable. So And it's in color. So yeah, I just wanted to make this short video to show you these two calculators. Uh, I will try to leave a link in the description to both calculators. And yeah, and if you found any value in this content, hit subscribe if you want to. Also, I have math courses on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform. But if you decide to get my courses so that you can learn math, please use the links from my website because it helps me greatly. Also, I've lowered the price to the bare minimum. So when you use my links, you should get a very low price. So yeah, they're actually on Udemy. But yeah, use my links and you'll get a low price mathsorcerer.com. What a, what a cool little calculator, right? Let's turn it on one more time. Yeah, I really like this one. It's just really nice. Let's do like nine plus nine. Yeah, it does fractions too. Nine over nine is one. And yeah, it does statistics. It's got a bunch of stuff, right? Polar coordinates, everything you would want uh, in a graphing calculator, you get in this one. This one basically has everything that this one has, but a little bit more, and it's in color. And it's rechargeable, so I think it makes it uh, a good choice. I hope this video has been helpful. Keep doing mathematics.